today we'll be doing some more problems that were sent to me by viewers. If you guys want to do this, you guys can follow the channel on Instagram, yt underscore the Swiss Army Tutor, where you guys could see behind the scenes footage and also and also send me problems like this. So today is a, th is a set of three problems, and the directions say, put the following equation in standard form. Before we even touch that, let's, what is standard form? Alright, and so if you guys notice that each of these equations, A, B, and C, are all linear equations, and standard form has has the form ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. There's another form that that's actually covered in algebra one, and you'll see that in the algebra algebra one playlist. Y is equal to mx plus b, which is a lot more useful because it gives us more information about the line. So. To put this in a standard form, we're just really moving moving variables over. So for the first one, y is equal to 2x plus 4. To put this, to put this in a standard form, we, we have to have a 0. We need an x term and we need a constant term. We already have y on one side. So we can either move the y over, or we can move the x, x and 4 over. I generally like working with positive values, so I'm going to move the 2x, the minus 2x, and the minus 4 over. So to do that, we must add 2x to both sides, and then we must add 4 to both sides. Since we do have an equation, whatever we, whatever we do to one side, we must do to another. That is the laws of algebra. And so 2x plus 4, sorry, 2x plus y, plus 4 is going to be equal to 0. And we're done. Fast and easy. Let's do another one. 4 plus 3x minus 2y. To put this in the standard form, of course, we, we, we want our x term first, and we want this at the end. But more importantly, we, we want our x's and y's on the same side. So, we're going to subtract, to do that, we will subtract 2y from both sides. Because, once again, because we, we are dealing with equations, we must do both sides equally. So if we subtract 2y from one side, we must subtract 2y from the other. And so that will leave us with uh, 4 plus 3x minus 2y is equal to 0. Now, all we're going to do is just apply... A couple uh, properties of addition. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this over. Because the value is unchanged, what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, 3x, rewrite it as 3x minus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. With that, we are done. Let's do one more y is equal to 6x minus 5. So to do that, once again, we want our x's and y's together. And the constants, honestly, it could stay on one side, but uh, when we're dealing with planes and multivariable calculus, we, we, we tend to keep that side zero just to make our lives easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 6x from both sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to move 6x from both sides to both sides, and we're going to add 5 to both sides. Minus 6x, add 5 to both sides. So, in total, that will give us 6x plus y plus 5 is equal to 0, and we're done. Just a quick recap. Within our problem today, we were given linear equations, and we're asked to put them into standard form. And standard form is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I find this pointless because y is equal to mx plus b will give us more information about the line and and its behavior between the correlation between x and y. And doing simple algebraic manipulations, we can easily go from this form to this form. 
which you which you have seen earlier in the video. See you guys next time.